All right, I think I'm recording. Mind all the background noises, because I actually didn't intend to make a video today. I'm doing laundry, but since I was making lunch, I figured, why not make a video? Today I'm making pasta carbonara. It is very easy to make, and you only need a few ingredients. Um, pasta carbonara is Italian for like coal miner's pasta, working man's pasta, and real pasta carbonara only has eggs, bacon, olive oil, and Parmesan cheese and pepper. None of that heavy whipping cream, no peas or whatever Jamie Oliver, Bobby Flay, or some other non-Italian chef puts in their carbonara. That is not real carbonara and I cannot stress that enough. Seriously, that is like my pet peeve of mine that you ruin carbonara with heavy cream and peas and little meatballs or whatever. But anyway, sorry about that rant. But it's really easy to make. What you're going to want to do first is take three slices of bacon and fry them up to your liking. And after it's done frying up, just crumble it and set it aside. So after that, we'll be right back. After that, you're going to want to bring water to a boil and you're going to want to put your spaghetti in and cook it to the package directions. You can use any type of uh, long pasta like spaghetti. Um, you can use the whole wheat kind. You can use the gluten free. If you want to use the black bean one, I'm not really big into black bean, but if you're gluten free, like you can use whatever alternative pasta you want as long as it's like spaghetti or linguine, as long as it's a long pasta because it works best because it won't be called spaghetti carbonara unless you put spaghetti. But if you're gluten free, corn pasta, black bean pasta, regular gluten free, whole wheat if you don't like white starch. So, or just put in whatever. You don't have to listen to me. I'm not your mom. So, while this is boiling, you throw in your spaghetti and cook it to the directions. And while it's boiling, we're going to scramble the eggs. Oh, I forgot to add for the amount of pasta for this, it's probably going to serve two people. So, you're going to want maybe a whole hand circle, if that makes sense, of pasta. Don't make like half a box or a whole box because you're gonna be in for a rude awakening. But if you wanna make enough for four people, you can easily double this recipe, but this should feed about two people or one hungry fat person, which is me, which is what I feel like today because I'm very pms -y, so I'm probably gonna eat it all. But we'll be right back. Okay, we got our pasta boiling. Now you're gonna want to scramble the eggs. You can scramble them in whatever leftover bacon grease you have. That's an option. I don't want it to be any more greasier than this because we're gonna put olive oil to taste. So I got coconut cooking spray. I actually got it at Dollar Tree for like a buck. So it's really cheap. Mm -hmm. So just spray your pan and you're gonna to wanna to take two or three eggs that you scrambled up, whatever your preference is. I'm just gonna put it in and scramble them really well into small pieces. So we're gonna scramble them. And after you're done scrambling them, we're just gonna set them to the side and we're gonna put it all together when the pasta is done boiling. So when they're fully scrambled, I'll show you what they look like. Okay, you can see the eggs are nice and well scrambled and nice and yellow and pretty. Don't put pepper in your eggs while you're cooking them or before you cook them because then it'll make your scrambled eggs look gray. So if you want them to look nice and yellow, don't add any seasoning to it. Like add your salt and pepper after they're done cooking to give them a nice taste. So if you want nice, pretty yellow scrambled eggs, pepper is the thing that kills it. But we have our eggs scrambled, and we got our bacon crumbled, and we're just going to wait on the spaghetti, and then we're going to put it all together. Now that we have our pasta drained and cooked, we're going to assemble it all together. So you just put in your scrambled egg, and try to do this as gracefully as I can. Okay. And then we put in our bacon. Get it all nice and in there. And now, to t this is going to be strictly to taste. Just put any amount of olive oil. You can use extra virgin. I just had regular. 
But like I said, this is strictly to your preference. Pepper. Make sure it's like you can tell that there's pepper in it because it's one of the nice selling points of pop, pasta carbonara. And Parmesan or Romano cheese. I got the Parmesan Romano blend. I got all of these ingredients at Aldi. Except for the bacon. I got it at my local Mexican supermarket because it was actually a lot of bacon for $2.77. So, check out your local ethnic markets and you can get like good deals on meats actually. Alright, we're gonna put it all to taste and then just mix it in very well. And then, you know, just taste it every now and then to see if it's how you want to your liking. I believe I put enough olive oil in, but I might put in a little bit more cheese because I like it to be very cheesy. Mm -hmm. but like I said, this is all strictly to your preference. That way I don't get a comment be like, hey, well, I'm like, well, I told you to put whatever your preference is. And even if you want to add salt, I ch choose not to add salt because it's already salty because of the bacon and the Parmesan cheese and stuff. Okay. I'm probably not going to eat it all. This is totally too much for two people. But just keep mixing it in very well to your liking. Mm -hmm. I might have to get some tongs. I'm just too lazy. And thank you to the 170 people who've subscribed to me. Your subscriptions give me life and keep me going. And it looks like I'm putting a lot of cheese in, but it's, I'm actually having a hard time shaking it out. As you can see, I think there's like a giant like clump of cheese blocking it. But stir it well, and when, when it's all to your liking, just put it in a bowl and eat it. But I'll be right back, because I might have to get some tongs. There we have it, and it's done. Got shadow on my camera. And it tastes really good. You get the strong taste of the uh, cheese, which I'm going to add a little bit more, because my thing was actually kind of clogged. This thing is becoming the bane of my existence. I think it's just cake. Wow. There you go. Now you're pouring out. You can top it with more. I've had a hard time with this cheese. But you get the taste of like the bacon, like undertone. You get like cheese, olive oil. It all tastes really good and all comes together really well. And it's something to make if you like literally only have like a couple pieces of bacon or eggs left and you want to make a hearty lunch. It does, or dinner, this is versatile, this is lunch for me. But it's really good and it's really inexpensive to make. And it took me like not a lot of time to make. But thank you to the people who've subscribed to me. Feel free to interact with me, send me a like, suggestion, comment, share, subscribe. You guys are the reason why I do these poorly put together videos with my melodious robotic monotone voice. But thank you for watching, and this is Real Pasta Carbonara. Have a good day.